Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Today, I thought we'd be a good day to once again deal with the highest Apocalypse Plus daily trials. But this time, I want to do every single one of them on the highest tier. And while we're at it, of course, also get all the Raid Captain banners. Three mystery banners, three threat banners to get our hands on the best possible power level loot in the game. Talking about loot, guys, also want to talk about a pretty cool way which I discovered to play games for free and also get rewards in return. Play free games, get epic swag in return, that sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, introducing today's sponsor, G-Round. G-Round is a gaming platform with a built-in launcher where you can discover new titles to play from all over the world. What I think is really cool is that they also add new games to the roster every single week, so you will always have your hands full with new gaming content. Be the very first to check them out and of course make sure to leave a review behind to help out the developers with some useful feedback. This allows them to make their game even better. In return, you will be rewarded with these G points, which you can exchange for epic gear like a new gaming mouse, headphones or other cool merchandise to upgrade your setup. The coolest part about G-Route is that it is entirely free. So guys, what are you waiting for? Definitely make sure to check out the link in the description for more information about G-Round. Sign up right now and start testing new games for free today. Alright, let's get back to the video. Okay, so here we are in the base camp. Let's quickly check out the daily trials because today's are pretty interesting. First off, we have the daily mission of the Ark Haven. Guys, definitely make sure to keep an eye out for this bad boy as it is an extremely short mission and the modifiers are also pretty interesting. Game over when any player is downed. Emeralds heal the player by 4 HP and the players have the Prospector enchantment equipped, which means if you continuously reboot this level, you can get your hands on tons and tons of those emeralds before, of course, completing the mission. If we are a little bit lucky, we can also find Raid Captains to get our hands on a very awesome melee weapon as rewards. And then we have more tier 3 daily trials on the Island Realms, one of them on the Frosted Fjord. This one is pretty scary. 100% of the mobs have committed enchantment. Also, the players have the Anima conduit so i think this is gonna be really awesome to heal ourselves and players collect four times as many souls so that means we can actually uh, farm a lot of those uh, torment quiver dynamo combos so that is gonna be really cool also a melee unique as reward can't wait to check out that one and another one of the coral rise so this one mob speed is increased by 50 percent 100 percent of the rage mobs are replaced with zombies so this can be a little bit tricky if we actually find uh, ranged pillagers they will be automatically converted into zombies so we won't be able to get our hands on six raid captain banners but still i think it's definitely worth checking out then we also have the players have the shockwave enchantment equipped another melee unique so three times a melee unique as reward and with six raid captains as reward oh boy this is gonna be really awesome so let's check out every single one of them i want to start with the arc haven on the highest tier but uh, first i'm gonna equip my gear and uh, guys last time we also found a corrupted crossbow with built-in dynamo built-in void strike prospector radio shot rep Rapid fire and also the refreshment which is pretty insane so if you're doing daily trials you will be able to fight these precious items all the time so um, let's uh, put our wither armor on the fighters bindings is equipped as well as a winter's touch right now all we need are some nice artifacts so we're gonna go with the torment quiver and also the gong of weakening to take down these bad boys in only one hit so uh, here we go our cave in tier 3 all right, here we are. Crash the gates. Game over when any player is down. So, guys, we're going to have to be extremely careful. I'm also going to check out every nook and cranny because, of course, we want to try and find some raid captains so we can increase the power of our uh, difficulty and at the same time get that crazy loot. So, uh, first off, I want to try and get my hands on some... Um souls because then, of course, we can one-hit kill these mobs with the, the Torment Quiver Dynamo combo. Oh man, this is scary. We almost died already. The burning is definitely extremely scary right here. Okay, thank god we survived this very first wave. What's pretty nice is that I'm actually getting my hands on um, HP every time when I gather these uh, emeralds. So what's really cool is that you can also use something like a dead barter to make this a little bit easier. And ooh, we were so close of dying because of that pillar right there. But um... As long as we don't have any modifiers on us, I think it's going to be very doable. Okay, so we have enough souls to activate the Torment Quaver once again. I'm checking out this island if we can uh, find some... Oh! If we can find some um, Raid Captains. But I don't hear the music, guys. I think this is a pretty empty one. 
Look at that. Poor creepers. Ooh, a longbow. Very much appreciated. Oh boy, that was scary. Thank god I had the snowball right there, because otherwise the creeper would have killed me. And um, man, they are not making it easier for me with these enchants. Let's uh, just try and take him down with the charges. This is definitely a lot safer. I don't want to get blown up just yet. Oh boy, it actually destroyed me right there. Alright, we're gonna have to be extremely careful for the snares of the spiders, because the one-hit kills with the pillars are extremely brutal. All right, here we are once again. Let me just uh, rush in there. Use my uh, Gong of Weakening. Take down these bad boys very quickly. Yes, this is better. This is way better. I really like it that every time when I take down a mob, I also get healed by um, the Prospector. It literally procs every single time, guys. This is literally the best one to uh, farm emeralds 24-7. Just don't complete the mission and you can get your hands on tons and tons of these. I think if you add even more prospector enchantments to your build, I think uh, this farm is going to be insane. Oh man, I really love my fighter's bayonets. <laughs> Look how bad I melt these bad boys. They're getting destroyed, literally. The Radiance is healing me up 24-7. And of course, in addition with the, the prospector right there, I am almost unstoppable, but uh, yes, you can definitely tell that with explosions, I get one hit killed. Okay, so we have all the tomes on top right there, so uh, we have to get up first. Let's also deal with these bad boys one by one by using the Torment Quiver. I think we only need it one or two more times to uh, use it at the very end, pretty much, of the mission. I'm gonna sneak past these bad boys. One more tome. And we can go inside. Reach the cave. Now all we have to do is pray that we don't have any creepers sitting at the entrance. I think it will be just fine. Ooh, a soul scyther. Very much appreciate it. Alright, we have some right there. Let's be a little bit careful. Uh-oh, I get snared. I got snared. No, 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 no. Spare me, please. Ooh, look at that. We found a feral soul crossbow, guys. Power level 248. But uh, we do have another creeper right there. Let's uh, take him down very carefully. I think this is going to be easier. So this one has a bonus shot. Find another exit. Okay, let's trigger the event and get back a little bit. Because uh, if they are enchanted, we have a problem, guys. Okay, this is okay. This is okay. They just keep spawning in right. Thank god we have the shockwave, so we can take him down from a range. Alright, here we go. That's already the very first mission completed, guys. Highest T3 daily trial. Sweet. I can't wait to check out my reward for this one. Unfortunately, we didn't find any raid captains, but that is because the level is so short, but at the same time, I mean... The reward is really awesome because you only have to spend a couple minutes in this level. And oh my god, I should have equipped my um, Lack of the Sea gear. The 255 one is pretty cool though. Oh man, if only, if only I used my Luck of the Sea, it could have been a unique with Enigma Resonator, Void Strike, and also Radiance or Busy Bee. That could have been pretty interesting for a soul build, right? We also fight this Feral Soul Crossbow, oh my god, with, look at this guys, Exploding, Gravity or Refreshment, also Void Strike or Dynamo, I think it's a pretty cool one to use as well. Anyways, on to the next daily trial. So we just completed the Arc Haven. Let's go for uh, both the Frosted Fjord and um, the Coral Rise. I think this one is going to be pretty scary. So let's do this one first because, guys, I hate the oxygen management. Somewhere far beneath the waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get right to it. This time, guys, I'm going to try the cheesy way. I want to take out every single mob in this level, except for the Raid Captains. I already made a video about this um, a couple days ago. I think it's a pretty awesome tactic, which allows you to get your hands on the best loot in the game pretty safely. I'm going to leave the link in the top right of the screen. But um, if you just save the Raid Captains for the end, pretty much, you can just uh, take them down without a problem. Of course, the modifiers are going to make the level extremely difficult. Difficult, but uh, you don't have to worry about any other guards in the mission. So um, let me just equip my lucky gear for a second. Also um, salvage some items to make some room. So I'm actually able to uh, pick up some gear. And oh, look at that. We already found a fighter's bindings. Man, every time when I take 
these items. Look at that. They just get messed up once again. This one just has to stay at the very beginning, right? Okay, right now it's working. Let's see. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. So we can just skip some mobs right now until we find the first raid captain. Then we're going to have to be extremely careful and... Ooh, okay. Let's uh, gather some souls while we're at it, right? The dolphins aren't my best friends either. They're just uh, hammering me. So we're going to return the favor. There we go. And um, we're going to have to make sure that uh, we don't run out of oxygen. Those are the most important things for this one. But uh, I think we'll be able to do just fine if we're a little bit careful. So many zombies, though. I don't really like this. Look at this. They just keep popping up. They are everywhere, man. Zombie paradise. Look at this. Oh, wait a second. I wasn't attacking for some reason. Okay, now they're gone. Now they're gone. Got a trident. Got my gear once again. Coral blade. Nice, some new oxygen. I think we'll be able to find another chest in the bottom. Look at that. Alright, let's first deal with the bad boys. Just gonna do a roll right here, so take care of these bad boys. Alright, we find another chest. Birthday gear. Oh, baby, look at that. An autocross. That is very much appreciated. And man, they just keep caging me right here. <laughs> the whispers are super annoying. Guys, we found another unique. No way. Man, the luck is real today. I like this one. So um, let's check out uh, the side branches. I think we're going to have to go to the southeast. By the way, we're going to check out all the items which we found in this mission after uh, the level. But um, let's first um, check out this part. I can smell some raid captains already. Okay, so we have another chest. I can hear it, guys. Oh, the electrified is not nice. Electrified, deflect, and even thorns on these little fellas. Oh, that was a little bit too much right there. Triple lightning. They just um, swarmed me right there. One hit killed me. That was insane. The movement speed on these zombies is definitely extremely scary. And we even accidentally took the chest. That is not nice. All right. <laughs> we survived, but uh, we already lost one life. All right, let's check out this entrance. Hopefully, we don't um, find a raid captain in here because we have to return all the way back if, uh, if it's actually in this uh, cave. Oh, guys, look at that. Another other cross. Man, the game loves me, apparently. All right, I don't think we'll have any raid captains in this dungeon, so I'm glad. Let's just get the hell away from this place. I'm just gonna run away. We don't need this. All right, I think we're gonna find quite some um, raid captains in here. Oh, yeah, we have the first one, a pillager. This one is melee, so we're gonna have to be extremely cautious. Oh, no, wait a second. It is actually a ranged one. Run 100% of those rage maps are replaced with zombies. So, okay, this didn't work. That's actually really good news. So we can just skip this one without a problem. There we go. Okay, so this is the first, the only Vindicator Raid Captain right there. And Oh, he actually hit me right there. We have to be extremely careful. Run, 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 run. I'm not really sure if we can actually dodge his attacks forever. He is pretty fast, right? So far, so good. Oh, boy. No, he's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. All right, man. It is way harder than I thought to escape from these bad boys underwater. Because they are simply too fast for me. I have to find a way how we can um, dodge them. I'm just gonna roll off. I'm gonna roll off. Let's see if that happens. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm just gonna roll to the other side right here. Get safe for a second. Man, that was just too crazy. I decided to restart the level because we definitely need all those lives for the very end of the mission. All right, here we go once again. Man, so many of these baby zombies, they are extremely annoying. Look at this guy, though. He is so fast. There's gonna be more of these um, with burning and um, fire trail. If they get too close, they're probably gonna swarm me and uh, destroy me. Look at that. Okay, we, we managed to destroy him with, um, with a torment quiver. Another one right there. Oh, boy. 
Number three. We need to get our hands on some um, oxygen very quickly because we're losing HP right now. Sweet. All right. Uh-oh. Another with burning. Seriously, guys. They have no chill on me in this level. They are so fast. Ooh. Whoa, guys. We just found a unique right there. We were able to knock him away. Let's try that again. Okay. For some reason, it's not triggering the dynamo. Not one hit killing them. But uh, we are safe and sound. We are safe and sound. Sweet. Ooh, a bubble burster unique one once again. Very awesome. Okay, we have a chest. Nothing. Oh, man. He hit me like a truck right there. Yeah, it looks like we don't have any raid captains in here. I think that's a good thing. Let's try to get out of this one. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna try and get my hands on as many souls as possible so I can actually use my Torment Quiver when we go inside the cave because I think it's gonna be pretty tricky in there. Here we go. That's already the very first one at the beginning of the entrance. Oh, boy. Vindicator Raid Captain. So that's a big melee guy. Oh, boy. Yes, yes, yes. We will stand right on top of this. Sweet. Gong of Weakening is doing the trick right here. Uh oh. This time, once again, we want to try and run away from this fella. We want to make sure he doesn't know where we are. Bam. <laughs> what the hell is my fox doing in there? Okay, 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 okay. Let's quickly get our hands on some oxygen. No! Oh boy, that was too close. Try and kill the small guy. Yes, we didn't kill the raid captain. Oh, <gasps> that was so close though. He almost touched them. Okay, now we can just go to the side. So we know the raid captain is going to stay right there. We can keep him till the end. Vindicator raid captain once again. A melee guy. Oh, I'm not a big fan of these. Not at all. So just lure him to this very place. Then I'm going to jump off. Let's see where we end up. Okay, this is bad. We actually <laughs> teleported right in between them. Guys, I have an idea. What we should do is use this artifact to go into stealth. Oh, we don't have enough uh, souls for this one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's getting closer and closer because, of course, they have the plus 50% movement speed right here. No, 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 no. We're getting closer and closer to him. All right, we're safe. We're safe. Give me some souls, guys. Oh, boy. Let's let's try to go roll to the other side. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. They're gonna go to me right now. Now I'm gonna jump off. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay, for some reason, the dynamo didn't proc right there. I think that's really annoying. When you're rolling underwater, then um, it actually has a delay to activate uh, the dynamo on the torment quiver. So uh, you definitely have to make sure you're standing on the ground after rolling, because otherwise it won't work. See? But this time it did work, so that's nice. Okay, looks like this entire area is clear, guys. So we don't have any mobs around anymore, so uh, that is very important. Oh boy, if we have six banners at the very end, we want to survive this thing, right? We're going to get our hands on that loot. But um, I actually did find the third raid captain at this very place, so we can do the trick one more time by just kiting him around this um, little island, let's say. This little gap in the, between the worlds. And, um, and then, of course, if he chases me down enough, we can just take the jump and get away from him. Okay, there we go. Ciao, amigo. Oh, wait a second. He actually dropped me in the pit right there. That's not cool, man. Ouch. Okay, let's take the jump. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. He's gonna stay right there. He didn't kill me. That was very close, though. We don't want to die just yet. Even when they are gone, they deal so much damage, man. Okay, so I think this is the scroll location. Look at that right there. We might be able to find another uh, raid captain. Okay, we've discovered this entire place. I don't think another raid captain is going to pop up. So let's get back to the main objective. Three raid captains inside this part of the cave already. I think that's really good. Oh boy. We actually want to sneak past this guy. Because uh, he's going to try to beat us. Ooh, 
look at that damage, man. All right, I think um, we're gonna use the trick with the pendant. So um, here we go. The Shadow Shifter, instead of the Gong of Weakening, and go invisible for 26 seconds. I think that's really awesome. So uh, we're gonna do some br big brain tactics right here. Get some oxygen and uh, ciao, amigo. We'll see you uh, very soon once again. Okay, now we can use uh, the Gong of Weakening once again. Here we go. It costs a lot of souls to uh, trigger the Soul Shifter, but uh, it's definitely worth it to uh, sneak past these bad boys. Very good uh, tip for you guys, if you want to check it out yourselves as well. Okay, we've got another one right here. Okay, this one is ranged. That is a lot easier. And it's really cool that um, we're seeing these ranged ones popping up. Ooh, so much damage right here. Let's be careful. The crossbow arrows shoot so fast. I don't know why. Okay, we need some oxygen quickly. Okay, so we uh, have a little oxygen um, checkpoint right here. Let's open up the map. So one is right there. We have two at the very beginning of the cave and one which we just passed. So four in total already. If we can find two more in this cave, I think it's going to be really nice. Just have to clear the entire place so we don't have um, these guys around when uh, we already picked up some of the modifier banners. Man, they can definitely ruin our day if they do. Uh oh, okay, we are low on oxygen. We have to be extremely careful right now. Actually, extremely careful. We have to get oxygen right now. Let's quickly deal with these mobs. Oh, boy. No, no, no. This is really bad. All right. Let's quickly go to that oxygen. Radiance heal. Radiance heal. Here we go. The tropical fish didn't heal us. But um, I think we can kite this guy around as well. So that's number five, guys. That's number five already. All right, we just opened the gate. This is good. Uh, we can actually exit the cave finally. Man, we've been struggling in here for a while right now. But uh, if we just clear the rest of the mission, take care of the guardian at the very end, uh, then return to this cave, take every single banner one by one. Oh boy, I can't wait to check out the rewards. Don't think we're going to trigger any events either. I'm just going to make sure these fellas are gone. And... Um, continue with the rest of the mission. I mean, you can press a button right here to um, get past um, those gates, but th that is only going to make everything a lot more troublesome, let's say. Okay, all the threats are gone. Let's get outside. Uh-oh. Okay, of course, we do have the two raid captains right here. They cannot touch me right now, though, but uh, we're going to have to be extremely cautious. Just dash from what, this place to the next one. Wait for a roll to be ready, and woo, there we go. All right, guys, <laughs> see you soon. Oh, man. Six raid captains inside one cave. All right, let's just uh, get to the end of the mission right now. All right, here we are at the conduit. So that's already um, almost the end of the mission, guys. So um, what we're going to have to do is take this bad boy. Finally, we no longer have oxygen problems. But uh, that, of course, we also have to deal with the guardian at the end of the mission. All right, so we picked up the conduit. And oh, wait a sec, we have a necromancer. Let's take him down ASAP. Sweet. Take the conduit and... Um, Get to the final boss. Oh, this guy tried to sneak away, huh? Thought I didn't see him right there. Probably gonna try to assassinate me when I have all these banners. That's not gonna happen. Man, it does take a lot of time, though, to first clear the entire level and then, um, of course, take the raid captains down. But um, it is the safest way. Okay, we are full inventory once again. Let me just quickly get rid of some items. This is definitely the safest way. So if you want to get your hands, of course, on that high power level loot, patience is key. And of course, you can only do those daily trials once a day. So um, it's worth taking your time for these. Otherwise, um, you're simply going to mess up and um, you're going to have to keep doing this for hours and hours. Tum, tum, tum. Yes, we're at the ship wreckage, guys. This is going to be scary. I'm going to just use my torment quiver. I'm not going to take the conduit. Let's just put it right there. Oh, what's happening right there? Stay in there. Stay in there. Deal with the big guys. And heal up a little bit. Oh, man. I don't like the trident, guys. They deal so much damage. All right, here we go. We still have a guy in the distance. Let's take him down. Oh, wait a second. These guys don't see me coming. Woohoo! 
Alright, we have one more right there. Here we go. Oh, ho. Rip in pepperonis. Oh, the big guy, the big guy, the big guy. And he's gone. Enter the abyss. Alright, let's take the conduit. And get to the exit, guys. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the raid captains once again. We have another treasure right here. Where's my enchanted gear? Ooh, there we go. Just a regular rapid crossbow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's get behind the pillar. Oh, man, this is scary. Okay, the Elder Guardian just spawned in. I don't like this. Because with my Torbid Quaver, I actually have a pretty short range. I need them to get closer a little bit. Yeah, look at that. My <laughs> range is super bad. Okay, I have an idea, guys. What I'm going to do right here is use my stealthy sneak attack. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, use the pennant once again. I'm going to put it on my very first slot. And turn invisible. Oh, they can see me. How is that possible? Look at that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. The big guy is down. The big guy is down. That's cool. Uh, let's use our um, Gong of Weakening once again. Come on, get on cooldown. Here we go. Gong of Weakening. Yes, that's two down already. Let's take down this guy as well. Sweet. GG. The James Bond move <laughs> saved the day. All right, now it's time to uh, get our Raid Captain banners. Every single one of them. Are you guys ready for this? Of course, we have to make sure we have no conduit active. Very close. Two threat banners already. On to the next guy. The only thing I really don't want to get my hands on right now is a night mode because that might destroy us, guys. With the mob speed increase, with the replays with the zombies, oh man, this is going to be so brutal. Okay, we have eight of the nine of the Toranimo stacks right now. Here we go. Bam! Another threat banner. Okay, that's cool. First threat banners, I think that's the safest way to go. Right now, we're going to get our hands on three mystery banners. I really hope they're just going to replace the mobs with creepers or something. That's literally the safest thing that can happen right now. Oh, he's running away! Ouch! Okay, there we go. Mystery banner. Night mode. Oh, boy. This is scary. Please, no night mode. Please, no night mode. Okay, where is he? He's right there. Man, I am so afraid right now. There's another one right there. Two ranged mobs. Oh, boy. Okay, sweet. We get another mystery banner. This is number five. <sighs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Final one is right there. Pillager Raid Captain. Not a Vindicator. I'm very glad about this. Oh boy. We got killed because of the... Oh no, 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 no. The poison. The poison destroys us, man. Where's my conduit? Okay, it's right there. Let's be careful. We have to go that way. Man, look at how tanky these mobs are as well. It's insane. We have to go this way, though. I'm gonna have to take care of the piffer fish. Oh, the arrows. The arrows. We just need one more. One more banner. And then we're safe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We can do this. No! Another death! Another death! We need to get the final raid captain very quickly. Here we go, here we go. They can one-hit kill me, guys. This is too brutal. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get the hell away from this place ASAP. We only have one more life. Actually, gonna do another roll right here. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. That's it. Okay. We don't have any food right here. I think we can stun this skeleton. Heal up a little bit. Get outside of this cave. All right. The exit is very close. The exit is close. Sweet. Let's jump down. Take the roll. Uh oh! No, 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 no. I'm just gonna skip these guys. I don't want a suicide right here. Come on, let's get the hell away from this place. Mob health has increased by 170%. Speed has increased by 50%. Oh man, night mode. Of course, they hit like a truck right now. Okay, some other guys popped up right here. What we're gonna have to do though is uh, make sure that we have um, the lucky gear equipped. Come on, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay. Maybe we could find a nice melee weapon as well. Power level 254. Don't hear any mobs popping up. Range weapon. I had a very high power level range weapon. 260. There we go. So increase our average power level to um, increase the power level of the reward as well. Now um, let's finish the level. Woo! That was insane, man. Oh boy, we managed to deal with this. Look at all the damage dealt. Damage taken. Let's check out our reward, man. We've earned it, right? A power level 254 soul fists. That's already a really nice one. But I am interested about the bounty, man. I'm interested about the bounty. 262 bubble burster. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that power level. So awesome. All right, let's check out everything we found in this level. So we have this bad boy right here with the piercing, exploding, tempo theft, radius shot, fire aspect ricochet, and also the levitation shot. I think it's really cool because you already have the bubble damage with the, some kind of levitation, so you can do a lot of levitation right there. We also have the soul critical boost with the gravity exploding, swirling, radiance, void strike, refreshment. Oh man, this is an insane soul fist roll, man. We also found another one right here with radiance, illager bane, gravity, critical hit and void strike i think that's really cool another fighter's bindings with the committed critical hit rampaging and all these enchantments i think that's already a very nice second run of course we still have one more mission to do on the, the island realms so this is going to be uh, the frosted fjord so no longer underwater no longer have to deal with the oxygen but uh, we're gonna skate on ice this time so let me just get my events resorted and then uh, we're gonna start the next adventure and man, what I really like about this one right here, the Titan Shroud, this one also has plus 50% soul gathering, 35% damage reduction, 20% weapon damage boost RS, so it can be interesting for a soul build pretty much. And look at the rolls which I got my hands on, soul focus or back of souls, final shout, and also the chilling, so this can be extremely interesting, guys. I'm definitely gonna try out something with this Titan Shroud roll. We also found a Spudge Striker with Void Strike, Critical Hit, Enchanting, Swirling, Shockwave, Radiance, Gravity, and Perspective. Specter. Guys, this roll is insane as well. Seriously, I am very happy with these. And then, of course, also two um, arrow cross. This one has a multi shot. And they also have uh, the growing right there. They have the dynamo. Another void strike in there. Wow, man. We are going to test out so many new builds with this. I am going to enchant this bubble burster already, though, because I want to equip it at the end of the mission so I can increase my odds of finding an even higher power level next time. So um, let's put, um, say, tempo theft on it so uh, we can still move with speed of enemies. And every time, of course, when we check out the enchanted tabs, it will be right there. And then, um, of course, for the artifacts, we also want to make sure we have some high power level artifacts right there. This is going to be perfect, guys. We also want to have the happy birthday gear, sweet tooth, and um, open up the mission menu, daily frosted fjords. This one has the players collect four times as many souls, which is going to be awesome for um, the torment quiver. We have the anima conduit enchantment to heal ourselves, and the mobs, of course, have the committed. So we're going to have to stay on high HP, so then um, they aren't going to be much of a big deal, pretty much. All right, here we are in the Frosted Fjords. Let's uh, apply the same tactic for this bad boy to uh, increase our chances of finding uh, that highest possible loot, of course. First, uh, search for the Raid Captain's whereabouts, then um, deal with every single mob until the end of the mission, and then afterwards, kill every single Raid Captain, gather their banners, and complete the mission. 
This is a pretty long level, though, so it's going to be scary. But uh, we do have the players collect four times as many souls. So um, the Anima Conduit is going to help us out big time with the heals. Of course, uh, the Torment Quaver Dynamo combo is going to be really awesome. I mean, we can already use it right now, man. Look at that. We just destroy every mob in our path. This is going to be a lot of fun. But uh, we're going to have to be a little bit careful as well. There's so many of those Geo Monsters. Oh, man, I really hate them. But... Um, I think um, we have a pretty good chance of finding some sick loot in here as well. I'm also going to try and skip as many mobs as possible. We don't want to kill every single one of them, right? Oh, but this is insane already. Look at this. Total chaos. Man, almost death already. <laughs> this is so much fun. Taking it to the next level and just do some ice skating while we're at it. Oh, man, I love it. I think uh, we have a side branch right there, which we can check out for uh, some raid captains. Oh, boy. Oh, they have a pickaxe popping up. Very sweet. Okay, so we didn't find anything right here. We do want to be a little bit uh, careful with the dormant quiver, though. Because um, if we destroy a raid captain at the beginning, we actually have to pick up the banner. Because, of course, they disappear after a couple seconds so um, we can really make things extremely difficult for us if we aren't careful enough uh oh we're getting slowed big time right now look at that man all oh, the vexes I mean, the ghosts. Oh, man, look at this. This is just glorious right here. Ooh, they hit like a trick, though. All right, I think we're almost at uh, the first checkpoint. We're going to have to deal with the Illusioner. Let's uh, check it out with um, our lucky armor. Wait a second. I'm going to go to this tab. Oh, boys. Thank you very much. Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't kill me just yet, please. Oh, no, 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 no. That was not very smart for me to do. But, um... Man, I think we could do this with uh, with one life less. It will be just fine. It will be just fine. Nice. They just keep dropping items. They are very generous today. Let's do another roll. Oh boy, that was just perfect right there. All right, there we go. We can advance to the next stage. Just gonna keep spamming the torment quiver. It's definitely the easiest way to the end of this mission. I think we'll be able to find a cave right there, though. Um, we might be able to find the very first um, raid captains in there. Heals allies, don't think so. Okay, still no raid captains. I'm very curious where they're hiding, actually. Love to know. Nice, we just leveled up as well. Sweet. Okay, we have our very first one right there. Let's try not to kill it. So where exactly is he? He's in the very middle. Oh, Lord, it's a big guy. It's a big guy. This is a problem. Let's uh, lure him out a little bit. Okay, we're running away from him right now. Okay, there's another one, I think. Oh, boy. This is bad. This is really bad. We did <laughs> not a very smart move to go in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're triggering our final shout as well. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Let's just keep running. Another cooked salmon. Strength potion. What I'm gonna do is just roll off this platform. Get to the other side. No, we cannot roll off! This is unfair! Man! Alright, let's try it again. Okay, okay. He's at the very beginning right now. This is cool. This is cool. Let's just uh, keep him at the very start. The second one is um, in the top right right there. This is good. This is a pillager raid captain. So that means he is not going to chase us down entirely. No, 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 no. Not today, amigo. Just uh, stay where you are. I'll get back to you. All right. We're again at the center. Okay, so we're back at the beginning of the cave. That's nice. What the hell just happened? Look at all these pops. They just popped up for no reason. Did they just respawn or something? That is so weird, man. But, um... 
Looks like uh, that was an ambush event. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Another chest. Ooh, a rapier. Uh, can we actually click the gate right here? I think we can. Yes. Okay, so if we want to get back to um, the raid captains, we just do that. Uh, right now, though, it is time to search for the next ones. We only have two out of six. So um, if we can find six, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to loot more treasures. I think there is only one right here. But uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to find the second one. And oh, man, they just keep using those um, ice things. I don't really like it. Okay, so let's uh, deal with the Isolager and just leave the Pillager Raid Captain behind. Check out the Igloo. Sometimes you can find some precious in here. Okay, so this is another survival event. Please, please no creepers. I don't like it when they uh, pop up in such very small environments. No spiders either, por favor. Nice. Very much appreciated. A rapier once again. Oh man, look at these creeper armies. They just keep popping up, man. Sweet. I think we got every single one of them. No luck this time. Some uh, cave spiders with chilling. Oh yeah, there we have one. Okay, so we have a pillager raid captain right here. So this one isn't too scary either. Just have to be careful for his crossbow shots. They deal a lot of damage. Ouch. Just gong him for a second. Let's see if we can find another one right here. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No snaring. That's nice. That's not nice. Man, they just keep snaring me, these spiders. They are extremely annoying. Oh my god, the creepers. I just got stunned right there, the creeper destroyed me. Only have one life left. Isologers are the single most annoying mob in this entire game. I mean, the Isologers and also uh, the Geomasters. So um, let's uh, leave this guy behind. That's already four raid captains, one life left. Oh, this is gonna be scary. All right, we're gonna check out this side branch because I think we'll be able to find another one right here. Oh boy, look at all these zombies. Okay, Vindicator Raid Captain. I think he's at the very end of this uh, cave. Okay, okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, we aren't able to get to the other platform. But um, I think we can run away from this fella. Okay, I'm trying to shake off this guy, but the problem is he is a little bit faster than me if he doesn't get the chilling enchantment on him. So um, I just uh, try and outsmart him once again. What I really like to do is um, go into stealth mode, but uh, as you can see, he's just too fast for me to uh, change my artifacts. Oh boy. Okay. We fell off, but that's cool. This is cool. This is perfect. The guy is just going to stay behind. And uh, now we can find uh, number six. And then we are settled, guys. Sweet. Okay, we want to have this one at the very beginning because I want to try to use it uh, to sneak away from some bad guys pretty soon. Okay, no luck this time. We're getting really close to the end right now, and oh man, more and more enchanted maps are popping up every single time. And ah, yes, look at that, we've got another dungeon, so that means this guy is probably going to be hidden inside. Let's check it out. Ooh, wiping them off the face of the earth. We have another entrance right here. Okay, I think um, this is just the exit, I guess. We want to stay back a little bit, because... Um, when I get snared by those spiders and the creepers explode, oh, it's not really a happy birthday moment. And look at that! A Vindicator Raid Captain just popped up. Is he right there? No, he isn't. There we go. Look at that! Ooh, we found a Winter's Touch, power level 248. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, they just keep popping up. Yes, he's right there right now. Okay, I'm gonna take this thing. Actually... Actually, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just gonna get outside. I'm just gonna get outside. I'm gonna save the unique for later, guys. I wanna deal with the boss right now, so uh, we can actually complete this mission. We are going to pick up that Winter's Touch when we get back to it. I promise. Alright, we're gonna open up the drawbridge right now. The Illusioner is gonna pop up very soon, though. 
Okay. He did it pop up. That's weird. That's really weird. Oh, wait a second. Another rapier. Man, we just keep fighting rapiers. Okay, guys, this is the end of the mission. Only thing we have to do right now is take care of every single one of those bad guys. So uh, let's get to the very beginning of the mission. I'm going to just use my speed ring gear once again. Where is it? Armor. Oh, boy. If you look at the size of this level, we've been clearing for over an hour, I think. You can just keep speed training and we still aren't at the middle of the level. I mean, it's definitely worth it, though, if you get your hands on some very sweet loot. Just take your time. Okay, we have one raid captain right there. We have another one right there, but outside, more are waiting. So we have to go even further back in the level to the very start of it. Okay, the Vindicator is right here. Let's take him down. Ooh, <laughs> we sent him flying big time. All right, mystery banner numero uno. 45% of the melee mobs are replaced with creepers. That's not too bad. This is going to be just fine. It's the only one. Oh, no, never mind. There is another one inside this cave. Bam, a threat banner. Okay, that's cool. We don't want to have any night popping up right now. That's going to destroy us, guys. Let's be uh, very cautious because um, I apparently didn't clear every single mob around these parts. Bam, another threat banner. This is good news. This is really good news. Okay, right now we are inside the cave. We have two more in here. So if we open them up for a second, one is right in front of me and the second one is right there. Oh man, I am scared for the night mode once again. In um, the Hidden Depths DLC level, that was the worst thing that could pop up, really. Pillager Raid Captain. There we go. Mystery Banner. Are we ready for this? Here we go. Mob damage is increased by 30%. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just stacking up my dynamo as much as possible right now because uh, these guys are becoming tougher and tougher. And uh, I definitely want to win and kill them before they get too close. All right, here we go. Lost mystery banner. Player health is decreased by 40%. <sighs> Thank God. Thank God. We don't have the night mode so we can just sit back, relax and take down the final one. And then um, collect our rewards, guys. This is going to be sweet. Yum, yum, yum. We found some uh, salmon. And, um, oh, wait a second. I have 20 stacks right now. Let's uh, take him down. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Lost chance. This is too scary, man. This is too scary. No way. I'm screwing up right now. Wait a second. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Let's uh, take down. The mob with the, the stealth. We're gonna do it the real way. We're gonna go assassin's mode. Man, we don't want to lose it. Just... Oh boy, we don't want to lose it right now. Seriously. Let's uh, go with um, 20 stacks. Or oh, wait a second. No, I think 7 stacks are gonna be just fine. Bam! Alright. The threat banner, this is the sixth banner we needed. All we need to do right now is get there safe and sound at the very end of the mission. Okay, it looks like we don't have any enemies around, so that means I can probably swap to um, the highest power level items which I have equipped. Let's just go back a little bit and uh, check them out right here. So uh, we have a melee weapon of power level 254 right there. Okay, that's really sweet. Maybe a higher item, I don't know. Um, then a ranged weapon with 260, I thought we had, 262, there we go. Of course, we want to take the lucky armor, and we want to take the highest power level artifacts as well. So 254, then we have a 253 right there, and, um, and another 254. So right now, our average power level is 256. Let's uh, get to the finish line, guys. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. GG. Please, for the love of God, give me a unique for this one because, um, man, I spent so much time in this level. You have no idea. All right, here we go. Three times player down. That was extremely scary, especially at the very end. But uh, we defeated 11 zombies. Okay, that's a, that's a thing, apparently. So this is our very first reward. A power level 254 beast stinger. Wow, cool. I haven't seen this weapon in such a long time, actually. But the next reward, though, here we go, guys. Come on, give it to me. 
260 Jailer Scyther. Even though it's a slightly lower power level than the first one, I think it's still pretty cool to get her hands on a power level this high. And uh, guys, look at this. Void Strike, Smiting, Shockwave, and also the Refreshment or the Gravity. So this can be really awesome. Let's also check out uh, the Beast Stinger right here. So this one has the Swirling, Exploding, Pain Cycle, Ambush, Artifact Synergy, Critical Hit, Refreshment, and also Committed. So um, yes, you can definitely tell that we found some insane items um, in this run as well. I mean, uh, we also find this uh, Diamond Pickaxe with, of course, a uh, built-in Prospector, Fire Aspect, Sharpness, Shockwave, another Refreshment, Void Strike. I am extremely happy. Guys, big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. It was a pretty long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. There is a lot more coming your way. More Minecraft, more Minecraft Dungeons. And of course, if you enjoy this format, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about that. If you also have ideas for future content, make sure to share them with me in the comments. And of course, also on the Discord, the link is in the description. We have about five or 6,000 members even right now. So uh, it would be very awesome to have you right there. Right now it's 4 a.m. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.